Hello YouTube and welcome to the first of many videos coming from this new tech channel, Buttery Tech Gaming. We'll basically be dedicated in bringing you technology news, reviews, as well as providing updates in the gaming world. Now in this video I'll be covering some of the new trackpad gestures that are released with Apple's new operating system, Lion. With Lion, Apple really wanted to unitize the iOS platform with your Mac, so they've incorporated a lot of the same kind of gestures that you'd make on any iOS device, such as an iPhone or iPad. For instance, Apple has included a natural scrolling feature that allows you to scroll through applications such as a web browser, just as you would on an iPhone. As you can see here, if I wanted to scroll down, I would have to use two fingers to swipe up, and that would um, bring the page down. And if I wanted to scroll up, then I would have to use two fingers and pull the page up. It's very natural and it is the same as how you would use it on an iPhone, such as Safari, but a lot of people have come to dislike this new feature and to turn this feature off, just navigate to your system preferences, go to trackpad, go to the scroll and zoom tab, and uncheck the scroll direction natural box. This will allow you to navigate through your web pages as you would normally. If you wanted to go down, you would go down. If you wanted to go up, you would go up. Easy as that. Another gesture very native to iDevices is the pinch to zoom feature. This basically allows you to zoom up on any particular area by using your thumb and your index finger to pinch your way in. And you can also navigate with two fingers moving the window where you want it to go. This is very helpful when a web page has small text and you can't quite read it. So just pinch your way in and it will zoom in accordingly. To zoom back out, use your thumb and index finger and pinch your way out. Similar to the pinch to zoom feature is the tap to zoom. Simply double tap with two fingers on an area you would like a better view of and your content automatically fills the page and fits to your window. And again, you can scroll down, up, side to side, and just view your content uh, much more accessibly. To zoom back out, simply double tap again with two fingers. Another feature that replaces the forward and back button in Safari is swiping between pages. This is probably one of my favorites just because it looks so cool. To access the previously viewed web page, swipe to the left with two fingers. To go back forward, swipe to the right with two fingers. Replacing Expose, Mission Control gathers all active applications to view and easily select the desired window. Simply swipe up with four fingers to activate Mission Control and swipe down to deactivate Mission Control. You can also get a good view of the desktops open and select which one you want from there. Also replacing spaces, Apple has given you the option to have multiple desktops. To add a new desktop, activate Mission Control with a four finger swipe up and hover your mouse to the top right hand corner and click the add desktop button. This adds a new desktop and from there you can organize your apps as you please to each desktop. So if I wanted a little snapper to go to desktop 4, just simply drag it over and there it goes. You can also assign your applications to always open in a particular desktop. To do this, navigate to the desired desktop say desktop 3 and say I always wanted um, let's see say I always wanted Evernote to always open in this desktop I would right click or if you're on a trackpad you would click with two fingers options assign to this desktop and from now on whenever you open Evernote it will always navigate 
to this assigned desktop. And also another gesture to swipe between your desktops is using your three fingers and swiping through your desktops. And further bringing the iOS field to the Mac, Apple has implemented another feature called Launchpad. To activate Launchpad, pinch in with your thumb and three fingers, and this allows you to give a view of all your applications and also group them within folders. You can also swipe through multiple pages and view all your applications as you would on an iPhone. To exit Launchpad, pinch out with your thumb and three fingers. If you have a lot of windows open in a certain application, you can activate App Expose. To do this, simply swipe down with four fingers, and all the windows pertaining to that individual app are displayed for easy accessibility. <laughs> so if I wanted to view this brochure on Monaco, I can simply click on it, and that window is brought to the front. If I want to view another window, say this piece of music, simply click on it, and that window is brought to the front. And one last minor feature I want to cover is showing the desktop. Say your computer is a big cluttered mess and you have a file on the desktop you'd like to access. Simply pitch out with your thumb and three fingers to move all your open windows aside and get a brief glimpse of your desktop. To bring your windows back, simply pinch in with your three fingers and thumb. And all of these features can be customized by going to your system preferences, trackpad, and from here you can view all the available gestures in case you forget or want to do a little tweaking. And that pretty much covers all the new gestures brought in Apple's new operating system, Lion. I hope you got something out of it and I hope to see you next time.